on the scene, dripped in Celine, whole crew shining, call me Mr. Clean, came in from the back, walk right to the front, dancing to the music, smoking on the got the women smiling, punk grilling me, looking all dusty, black force energy, I don't even drink, but the team pop bottles, not here for the beef, but the Glock holes hollows, think I'm cocky, but I think I'm worse, in this flexing, like a Mr. Universe. You are now tuned into the Boxing Bros, I'm Caden, I'm here with my co-host. You know what it is, man, it's the commissioner, Trill Dollar Bill. And this is G, what's good? Hey man. As you can see what my bro screen says, R.I.P. Mike Stafford. You know what I mean? Um, he trained Adrian Brona, helped him become the problem. And in the sport of boxing, when you lose one, it's tough to deal with. So we want to say, uh, you know, send our condolences to the family of uh, Mike Stafford. Uh, Neta TV isn't with us, but he's on the road from New York, headed back to Boston. If he makes it home in time, he's going to tap in with us. The first topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros. Is Devin Haney versus Regis Progre a pay-per-view fight? So we're going to take a look um, at an article. I mean, an article. We're going to take a look at a, at a tweet from Mike Benson and where Mike Benson uh, reported this news. And it says, Regis Progre versus Devin Haney for WBC Super Lightweight World Title is reportedly now set for December 9th in San Francisco and will be broadcast on the Zone pay-per-view in the USA. So, great, Shakur. I mean, great, uh, Devin Haney's fighting. He's going to fight Regis Progre for his WBC title. That's cool. But the fact that it's going to be on the zone pay-per-view in the United States of America, Trill Dollar Bill, what is your reaction to that? Do you think that's a pay-per-view fight? Um, I, I, it's it's sad and it saddens me to say this because you know, um, Devin Haney should be a pay-per-view fighter, right? If you think of accomplishments just being undisputed at light, um, lightweight. You would think that that would give him that status, <laughs> but no, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. You know, um, Regis to me the biggest fight Regis ever been in. I'm not even talking about him just winning the title. I'm talking the biggest fight I ever seen him in was the one with Josh Taylor, and he, he dropped the ball in that one. You know, I think um, I picked him to win that fight. And to me, he let uh, uh, Josh outwork him, and 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 take the and take the majority decision. Um, no, this should not be on pay per view <laughs> at all. You know, I'm not even gonna get, get all crazy. <laughs> like, no, this shouldn't be on there at all. See, we have a subdued trill today. Trills being nice today. All right, let's go to conspiracy. G. I'm gonna say it depends, man. Oh. If, <laughs> yo, listen, if, I, I, the reason why I say it depends is if the pay per view is like twenty dollars, yeah, sure, why not? It's like yeah, it's worth twenty dollars. If it's if it's like sixty, seventy, eighty dollars, hell to the no, you know. But because it's unfortunate, it's like I agree with Trill. Like Devin Haney should be a pay per view star right now, but unfortunately, you know, like. I don't know. He, it, it, the star power he lacks, I think, is the connection with the fans. He doesn't have that type of personality that that gravitates to the casuals. So, if you're not gonna get the casuals like that with your charisma, you gotta be spectacular in the ring. You gotta either be knocking dudes out or you gotta be like flawless with your victories. And Haney's up there, but he's not really quite there. And he doesn't have the charisma yet. So it's kind of like he's an incomplete package, you know. So that's kind of difficult to sell to the masses. And Regis, and I don't know, man. Regis, I think it's just his management. I don't know what they're doing. Like, he's like, it's not he he's competition, but again, he's one of those unknown commodities, right? So it's going to be difficult for the zone to really make a profit out of this fight like that. So that's why I was saying it depends. If it's like $20, I, I think 
people that are into boxing are like, ah, it's just $20, I'll pay. You know, like, they're already paying, like, I don't know, how much people pay for the zone monthly? I don't remember, but like $24. Paying. Oh, well, I pay for yeah, like $24 but, a month. Yeah, but you know, like, yeah, it's just another $20, you know what I'm saying? But if it's like 60, 80, whatever, then that's when people are gonna be like, yeah, you're bugging. Like, I'm not paying for that, you know? So it's just unfortunate, but all right, you're gonna get there. Triple dollar bill, you, would you pay $20 for this? No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be nice. Come on. I'm trying to be nice. You know, you come, this, this, fight, this is the type of fight that should come with your subscription. Yeah. It's true. No, that's a fact. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, this is the type of fight that should come with free with your subscription. This is not yeah. like like a... Like a... <laughs> we, we will pay for Canelo versus Charlo. That's something I would pay for. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not, I'm not paying not not this. True. Two pounds is a fresh salmon or or this fight. <laughs> <laughs> Two pounds of fresh salmon. That's what I'm saying. Come on, son. I'm about to rather buy the fish than to get this is this is for free TV. That's what I'm guaranteed satisfaction with that two pounds of fresh salmon. <laughs> okay. This I'm just saying. Should be on free TV. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, G. Back to you, G. I'm sorry. G. Oh, no. Nah, I'm done, man. I'm done. You know what I'm <laughs> Look, man. I'm going to keep it real with you. Regis Pro Gray's last fight was horrible. It was a stinker. It was a bore. Yo, I love boxing. Y'all, I don't, I don't need me to say this. You already know. Y'all already know. Like, Trill and I... For years, that's all all we did is watch boxing. We 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 known as the boxing bros. You know what I'm saying? G, you know, <laughs> that's why we the boxing bros. All we do is watch boxing. And guess what? Watching Regis was already hard for me because his technique is horrible. So watching him was already hard for me. But to pay to watch Regis? I've been trying to sell Regis on you for years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Trill has successfully sold me fighters. I'm not going to lie. Because I would be like, particularly in the in the lower weight classes, I'll be like, no, nah, watch like, anyway, man. Yeah. So. He'll be like, you got to watch RJ, though. And I'll be like, all right. And then I'll watch him, and I'm like, you know what? He is good. Trill put me on to my man, Dark Chingin, who became <laughs> one of my favorite fighters. He's like, yo, I'm telling you, bro. You got to see Vic Darchini, and I'll watch Darchini. But then every now and then there's a fighter that Trill try to sell me on, and I'll be like, hell no, Trill, he's garbage. Who's up? Baby Bull? Bull. Yeah. I knew he was going to bring up the Baby Bull. Who is he trying to sell me on the Baby Bull? Nah, nah, nah. You know who Trill tried to sell me on? Roly. I was like, Trill, <laughs> stop it, dog. Nah, that he's not it. No, nah, like, but Trill sold me on Roly, though. <laughs> Trill sold me on Roly though. I started to see why Trill like Roly. So Trill sold me on Roly. I like I'm showman. We need showmen. We need showmen in the sport. You know? <laughs> Trill, hey, you know what? Trill was right on Roly because you got to look at the success of Tank versus Roly. Come on now. You got to admit, Roly, Roly did his thing on, on selling that fight. Um, and he actually did his thing in that fight. He got clipped, but he did better than. He did better than I thought. Yeah, that's a fact. Speaking of which, from people with these predictions, I know we kind of on topic with it. I picked Roly to beat Tank. Go back and, and watch the tape. Do you really think I thought Roly was going to beat Tank? No. <laughs> I picked a guy I, I, I like and what I'm rooting for because I'm not one of those people who try to, oh, I want to have 100%. I don't care. It's a sport. I'm picking who I'm rooting for, period. Anyways, getting back to this. Regis, I, you, I, first of all, I don't want to pay to see Regis. Regis could be fighting across the street for $10 to see it live, and I would pass. I would pass on that fight. That's what I think of Regis as a boxer. So, one, I would never pay to see Regis. Trill is right. Devin, on the other hand, is a sad – it's sad to – Acknowledge the fact that he's not a superstar, professional since the age of 17, undisputed at 135. He's taken on tough challenges. He went to Australia twice to beat uh, Cambosis. But one of the things we have to acknowledge 
Cambosis was the easiest fight. We all knew that. Once T.O. slipped up and gave him the belt, we were saying everyone's going to line up to get those belts. We said it. Cambosis is basically selling those belts. He picked the wrong guy to sell them to. He should have sold them to Tate. But he picked Devin because he thought he can beat Devin and he lost. So my thing is this. Devin is in a pay-per-view attraction. And Regis Prograde, as I already explained how I feel about him. So you put these two together as a pay-per-view fight. And how many pay-per-view buys do you expect them to sell? If Devin versus Vasily only did 150,000 pay-per-view buys, how many pay-per-view buys are you expecting Devin Haney versus Regis Prograde to sell? And keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. Devin versus Vasily was on the worldwide leader in sports in the United States of America, ESPN, which means they have the biggest machine to promote that fight, and they still only did 150000 We're talking about a UK app that majority of the people in the United States of America don't even know. And you yeah, trying to say this dog? It's a huh? dazzling. You know, they over say the zone. They'd be like, what's the dazzling? You know what I know. They'd be like, yo, what's that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't even know this app. This might as well be BLK Prime to them. That's a fact. And what do you think they're going to sell with this fight? Yo, you better stop playing. You better make this fight a subscription fight. Because you're headed for embarrassment. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We just getting started. We the Boxing Bros. Shout out to the TBE. <laughs> I feel it in my soul. Can you feel Got me? My money right. came so cold. And my cell on the moon. Oh, yeah. Stay